if you have keychain or keys on the on the ring here, you don't have to take it off. You can just press this button here and slide out the physical key. And there, there's ways which you can kind of jam it in there and use it to to, to access the, the battery, but I don't really recommend it. Uh, it does cause damage to the plastic. So right in here is the actual spot that you're supposed to pry, right there. So this is where the key fob came out of. This is the little pry spot. And you can use a small screwdriver like this, but a little bit larger one helps. And basically what you're doing is you just kind of pry up in that spot. Um, so you pry up on it. Now, when you pry up, be very careful. I'm gonna show you why in a second. You break it, break it loose like that, just kind of separate it. Uh, but when you take it apart, there's a couple things that could fall out. So just be very careful as you take it apart. I kind of go slow with it here. So you can hold it, it's best to hold it like this and take this black side off like that, okay? You can do, the, do it the other way, but I'll show you a reason why you don't want to really do that. Uh, so we just take that side here off. Now, um, this little piece right here can fall out if you do it the other way. It's not supposed to, but it's, it's supposed to be held in there, but just in case. I think older key, uh, key fobs are, are not held in there as good, this little metal, metal thing. Uh, but this center part right here is just resting in there. So it rests, it could rest in this side, like so, or it can rest in this side. Uh, but the main thing is you know that that piece is loose. So however you do it, just make sure you don't drop it out. You will need to take it out though, um, because it, you know you need to have a firm grip on it. So let's go ahead and take that out. Now this little seal right there can come out and the buttons can come out. So just kind of don't play with that once you take this out. All right, so there's the battery there. And it's a CR2032. And you'll notice that it has these little clips. So these clips here are fixed. You don't want to mess with those. These ones are a little bit, these will bend a little bit here. So this is the side in which you want to pry up on the battery using tweezers or a small screwdriver like, like this one. And you just kind of gently pry it up. It might go flying, but uh, so just kind of, if you can just gently do it, then it'll, it shouldn't go flying if you get control over it here. All right, so then I released it and so there we go. And then the new one comes in, you just angle it like so, and you push in like so, and then just press down. Now just remember that when you have this out and the battery is in place, these are the buttons here. So you can accidentally press them if you're not careful, <laughs> like I just did, and then set off the alarm. Uh, so basically, just put this back in place, and you see that the contour of this fits in there. And it's best to do it on the seal side when you're putting it back together. So that way you can get it in the very center and you don't get it on the, the edge of the seal. So you want to make sure the all around this edge right here, the seal is exposed and not like propped up on one side. All right. And then you take this cover. And the cover, basically, you just put it directly on top like so. Make sure it's, it'll kind of fall in place. Make sure that's lined up. And without pressing the buttons, you just kind of press it together and it snaps in place. And then you look around the edge, make sure it's sealed up good. There's no gaps. And then you put your physical key back in and you're all finished.